In this sum, length is 140. If you see this is 40, then 60, then 20 plus 20. So length is 140, height is 40 and width is 50. So first we will take 140 on this side, draw vertical line. We will take height 40 and we will take 50 on right hand side. Then we will draw box. Now after drawing this box, now we will see front view. If you see in front view, there are two surfaces. One is this long one and other is this part which is the rib. Now if you see this long part is over here and rib is in between. So what we will do, first we will draw this first part and then we will draw this part number 2. So to draw this first part, we will see this radius how much? 40. So we will take 40 from here. We will draw a straight line and we will cut 40. 40 on both the sides, 40 will cut up as well as 40 will cut down also. So we'll get rhombus of side 80. Then we'll draw along this diagonal. From this midpoint, we'll join to this corner as well as from here. So this is point 1. Now from point 1, I can draw this arc. From 2, I can draw this arc. Now if you see this radius is behind also. If you see the main diagram, this circle is behind also. How much it is? 50 behind. So what we need to do? We need to shift point 1 and 2, 50 behind. So we'll draw 50 behind, we'll draw 1 dash. And from here also 50 behind, we'll write 2 dash. So we'll take this radius from 1 and from 1 dash, we will draw it on this side. Same way, we'll take this radius, 2 to this radius, and we'll go behind and again we'll draw that radius and then we can draw tangent. After that if you see the main diagram there is height 15. See this height 15. So what we need to do? We need to take 15 here and we need to join those. Draw them. You take this behind. So this part. So now I can darken this. See this? This is that circular part. This is tangent. Now, if you see in top view, they have given radius 15, right? Both the sides. So diameter would be how much? 30. So we need to draw rhombus of side 30, 30. You can take 30, 30, draw along this diagonal, mark midpoint, midpoint, and you can join this. So from this point, you can draw this arc. Same way, take this point down by 15. Why? Because height is 15. Take the same radius, go down by 15, and again you draw radius. See, take this radius, go down by 15, and you draw radius. So, so you'll get this part. Same way on the other side. You draw rhombus 30. So you take 30. You take 30. So you'll get again one of the rhombus. Draw longest diagonal. Midpoint, midpoint. So you'll get a point. And from that point you can draw this radius. Then from this point you go down by 15. Take this radius, go down by 15, and you draw another radius. And you can draw a tangent. Got it? Take this radius, go down by 15, again you draw that radius. So you'll get this part. Now we need to draw hexagon. If you see over here they have given hexagon across the flag 45. We can't draw this directly inside this. So first we need to draw this. So to draw this first we need to take 45. Take half of 45. Mark that point as M. This is A. 
this is B. So this total distance is 45. After that, you draw midline and then you take 30 30 degree on both the side. You mark 30 30 degree on both the side. So you get the side of the hexagon. So this you get the side of the hexagon. Take this side and cut on this side. Same way, take this side and cut on this side. Now after this, you can mark this point as A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, and this is M. Now we need to draw this directly over here. So what we will do, first we will mark point M, then we will mark point A and B. Now we know that A to C is a straight line, so we will draw a straight line over here. From M also will draw a straight line and from B also will draw a straight line. Then we will transfer this linear distance, that means this vertical distance. Take A to C, cut on this side, so you get C. Same way you take B to D, you cut on this side, you get B. Same way you take M to E, cut on this side, you will get E and then you can join. So we got this hexagon also and then we can take this inside, inside. It's going through and through, right? So we can draw this line. Now after this, now we are left with only rib. Now if you see the rib, width of the rib is 10, total is 50. So that means this distance is how much? 20, 20 on both the sides. So what we will do, from this point 1, we will go inside by 20. We will mark that point as one double dash because we have already marked one dash so I'm going inside by 20 and I'm marking one double dash I will take the same radius the big radius what we have taken earlier take that radius from one go inside by 20 and again you mark all of you got this what I did I took this radius I took this radius I went inside by 20 and I have drawn one arc then if you see top view, you will come to know that this distance is 40 from this side. See this, 40. So what we will do, from here we will extend the line and from here I will mark 40. I will extend this line and from here I will mark 40. And from that point, I will draw tangent to this. So when I will draw tangent, automatically I will get this curve as well as this curve, this I need to erase and then after that I can draw width is, width of the rib is 10 so what I can do, I can draw parallel line from here I can ten, extend 10 over here and again I can draw parallel from here so I got the rib also all of you got this? once again I will explain this rib because we don't know the exactly this point so what we need to do since we have drawn this radius from point 1. So from point 1 you go inside by 20 and you draw an arc. You extend this point. This distance is 40. You mark 40. And from there you draw tangent. So you get the rib. Then you take 10 this way because the width of the rib is 10. So you take 10 this way and you draw parallel line. 